video is hey guys how you doing chat again as the title states this is John's knife I just finished it up a little while ago it, it's been in the works I've had a bunch of other things happening but I got it done I finished taking the pictures and I thought I'd share it all with you so let's go uh, so I had somebody come by a little while back and his name was John and John was interested in me making a knife for him now the knife was really interesting because I'd never made anything like it before and it was called a puko or at least that's where his inspiration came from, was a Finnish knife called a Puko. Now, if you've never heard of the Puko, maybe you've heard of Mora or Falkniven. The Puko is a Finnish knife that's very similar to the Mora and the Falkniven. Now, the Puko is usually always finished in wood and bone. Sometimes people put a little micarta in there, but it's mostly all wood, maybe some wood bone mix and some liners and such. But... Um, Unlike the uh, uh, the Mora and the Falkniven, they're, they're a commercial made knife. You get a lot of them now with over molded, like rubbers and plastics and stuff. Well, I digress. John wanted a Puko, but he didn't want the rat tail tang that are traditionally indicative to those knives. Meaning the wood goes around, the handle material goes around the entire tang, and you don't see the tang, like my normal knives you would. So I said, sure, no problem. So he came out, we drew out the knife, he picked out some materials for the sheath and for the leather and for the scales, pins and everything. I said, yeah, I could do this. I've never done it before, but I think I could do it. And I was successful. At least I hope I was. So far, I think John likes it. I sent him some pictures, so hopefully he's going to be very pleased when he sees it in person. As you know, I always fight with the camera and the focusing and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw pictures in here and tell you a little bit about the knife and show you what it looks like. So as I said, John picked out Coyote Brown Kydex for his sheath material and he picked out acorn brown as his leather finish for his belt loop. He picked out curly uh, maple for his scales as well as two eighth inch brass pins and a quarter inch brass lanyard tube. You'll notice that the blade from the spine to the belly is very narrow and thin. That's very indicative to some of the Puko styles and that's only three quarters of an inch. Now I used inch and a quarter by uh, one eighth inch thick material to make this knife and that was because he wanted a full tang so we needed enough material to give a good shape at the belly and at the back of the knife and as I said earlier we could not do the tapered tang and that was simply because of two reasons one the materials eighth inch so when you taper a tang you're not going to be tapering a whole lot second at being eighth inch steel and doing a taper tang this knife would have been like a feather and it wouldn't have really been that well as a good balance or a good feeling knife. So we were both kind of in agreement in that, and that's why I stayed away from the tapered tang. So, as I said, got it here. It's all ready to rock and roll. It's got to pass the shake test, of course. No issues there. And as always, I put a drain hole in the back. I really think it turned out nice. I was pleased with it. And again, this is the first time I've ever done it. Anyhow, thanks again for stopping over. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment down below. It all helps me. So until the next video, though, you guys take it easy and have a good one. Take care.